I remember it like it was yesterday. I had been sim racing for what felt like forever, always using the bumper cam. It was my go-to. I felt like I was right there, inches from the track, watching the gravel, dirt, and tarmac fly by. The sense of speed was exhilarating. Every turn, every straight, I felt like I had perfect control. Or at least, that's what I thought. But then, something started gnawing at me. I wasn't getting better. My lap times were stagnating. No matter how much I practiced, I'd hit a plateau. It felt like I was putting in the hours, the dedication, but for some reason, I just couldn't push past this invisible wall. It was frustrating. Every race felt the same, solid, but never exceptional. I couldn't figure out what was holding me back. I began questioning everything, my technique, my setups, the way I was approaching races. And then one day, while scrolling through forums, I came across a post from a fellow sim racer who talked about switching to the cockpit view. He said it changed everything for him, improved his immersion, his control, and even his times. My initial reaction was to scoff. Cockpit cam, really? I couldn't even imagine it. I'd tried it once, for about 30 seconds, and I hated it. It was claustrophobic, the view was limited, and it felt unnatural. I couldn't see the track like I could with the bumper cam. How was that supposed to help? But the thought stuck with me. Maybe this was the change I needed. Maybe this was the key to unlocking that next level of performance. At the same time though, I was terrified. I had grown so comfortable with my routine, my way of driving, that the idea of shaking things up scared me. What if I got worse? What if I couldn't adapt? But something in me, some small stubborn part, wanted to at least give it a shot. So one evening, with a mix of curiosity and fear, I switched the camera to cockpit view. The first few races, let me tell you, they were brutal. I felt like a complete rookie again. The car felt foreign, my lines were all over the place, and my times, embarrassing. I was slower, clumsy, and I couldn't get the car to do what I wanted. I kept thinking, this was a mistake, I'll never get the hang of this. It was like learning to walk all over again, but this time with the ground shifting beneath my feet. Every turn felt tighter, every straight felt more intense. I was overwhelmed. There were so many new variables. Seeing the wheel move, the dashboard in front of me, the A-pillars blocking parts of the track. I was struggling to focus, struggling to stay in control. But deep down, I knew there was something new, something different. I could feel the car in ways I never had before. With the bumper cam, I always felt like I was floating, like I was just observing the track. But now, now I was in the car. I could feel every bump, every shift in weight as I navigated through turns. It was more intense, yes, but it was also more real. So I stuck with it. Race after race, lap after lap, I pushed through the frustration. I worked on my lines, my timing, my braking points, and slowly, ever so slowly, things started to click. I wasn't fighting the car anymore. I was working with it. I began to feel more connected, more in tune with what the car was doing beneath me. And then, something amazing. My lap time started improving. At first, it was small. A few tenths of a second shaved off here and there. But as I grew more confident, as the cockpit view started to feel more natural, the improvements kept coming. Suddenly, I was breaking my old records, setting new personal bests that I had never thought were possible. The flow, the rhythm, it all started to come together in a way I had never experienced with the bumper cam. I remember the first time I smashed my personal best on a track that had always given me trouble. I was flying through the last sector and it felt effortless. Every corner was smooth, every gear change precise. When I crossed the line and saw the time, I couldn't believe it. I had done it. I had beaten not just my previous record, but by a huge margin. And that feeling, that rush of euphoria, was unlike anything I had ever felt in sim racing before. It wasn't just about the time. It was about the journey, the struggle, the frustration, and the eventual triumph. The cockpit cam had forced me to see sim racing in a whole new way. It challenged me, pushed me out of my comfort zone, and in the end, it made me a better racer. Now, I wouldn't go back. The cockpit view is where I belong. It's where I feel the car, where I'm connected to the race, not just as an observer, but as a driver. And while the journey wasn't easy, it was absolutely worth it. So if you're out there, stuck in the same rut I was, afraid of change, take the leap. You never know what new heights you'll reach 
once you push past your fear. The cockpit view didn't just change my lap times, it changed the way I race. And for that, I'll always be grateful.